Guys, it's not messed up if it's The Sims. This is The Sims Sorcerers compared to Spellcasters compared to Witches. I'm just here to talk about my three favorite magical beings you can be in The Sims 4, and we're going to figure out which life state is the literal best that you can be. This is determined entirely by who's the most powerful and who can do the most cool sh**, and who's the most profitable. This means we're comparing spellcasters from EA's Realm of Magic expansion pack, compared to sorcerers from the Become a Sorcerer mod by Tripless, and witches from Fairies vs. Witches by Spinning Plumbaz. I've broken this video into categories so we can compare them effectively. Spellcasters is through the Realm of Magic expansion by EA, so you do have to pay money to become one of those life states, but the other ones that I'm talking about are through free mods. And I'm actually not going to link the mods in the description because YouTube got mad at me for that, but just go to like google.com and type in like Sims 4 <laughs> become a sorcerer or something like that, and then there you go. So let's start with how to become a spellcaster, witch, or sorcerer. So for spellcasters, as we know, you can do it in Create a Sim, or alternatively, you can go through the Glimmerbrook portal and complete a mission. You can also be born one, which also gives you a magic bloodline. But don't get excited, it's overrated. For witches, you can also be born one, but there's a good chance you'll just be born pure evil for no reason whatsoever, and you'll get this buff. But originally, to become a witch sim, you need to go to the witch altar and complete a mission. For sorcerers, you just buy a suspicious lump of clay in buy mode and that's it. You really just get this clay, and then you look at it. Also, when you become a sorcerer, you can get rid of two of your moods forever. Alright, so let's dive into what they can do. Let's talk about spells. When it comes to just the number of spells that occults have, this is what we're looking at. Spellcasters have 24, witches have 50, and sorcerers have a whopping 93 spells. These are divided into the white arts, black arts, mischief, and then those are divided even further. And the mod site and nothing else had this information, I had to go in and manually count them. More importantly, let's look at some of the most powerful spells you can cast. For spellcasters, you can bring back ghosts from the dead with Deed Deathify, you can minionize for mind controlling someone, or you can just copy and duplicate objects for easy money. For witches, you have a you have a biblio Excel or whatever. That's where you can read an entire book in a matter of minutes, which is a quick way to max out any skill. You have Morbus, which gives a fatal illness, along with a few other deadly ones actually. And you can instantly become a five-star celebrity. For sorcerers, it's long. <laughs> you can create life inside someone, as in like pregnancy, and then you can influence whether the baby's going to be a boy or a girl. You can cast spells of immortality and anti-aging. You can bring ghosts back to life. You can steal the muscles off of another sim and then put them onto yourself. You can enchant a sim to rob a vault and then give you the money from said vault. Or more scary ones like endlessly torture someone by locking them into a deadly fire dance of panic for the rest of their life until they become unalive painfully. Um, has technology gone too far? As well as many other means of death, like a kiss of death. Um, you can also instantly promote yourself at work. Sorcerers are by far the most powerful in terms of spells and for creating life and for unaliving. But fun fact, all three are able to conjure a permanent doppelganger or clone of themselves. And then you can marry your clone. Don't you want to do that? Don't you want to marry your clone? All right, moving on, let's talk about elixirs and alchemy. Spellcasters can make 16 elixirs. Witches can also make 16. And sorcerers can't make any, maybe because they have so many spells. So the most powerful ones that you can make, the spellcasters can do the potion of immortality 
or the potion of prompt resurrection brings back the dead or prevents death. Witches have Hell's Embrace that sets anyone who touches you on fire. The Vanquishing Potion that explodes, uh, so about the same result. Or you can turn invisible. Other fun features. Spellcasters have brooms and wands, and a glimmer broke portal. Witches have necromancy, which I've had nothing but bad experiences with. They can summon things at an altar. They have very specific power sources you can choose from and draw energy from. Also, I guess they hate the fairies or something like that. So sorcerers have an ethereal realm, which is a world between worlds. And they can also play songs that cause everyone to panic. Okay, here's some cons for each life state. For spellcasters, you can get curses, which happen if you cast a spell wrong. There's a wide variety of curses you can get, and they are all a pain in the butt. For witches, you can be born pure evil for no reason. And if you dabble with necromancy, you will most likely die. For sorcerers, you have to practice everything all the time or you forget it really, really fast. It's honestly annoying when you finally learn how to conjure food out of thin air and then you forget how to conjure food and then you learn it again and then you forget it again. Except all 93 spells. Alright, so who's the most profitable? Sorcerers can instantly promote themselves in any career line, so they have a leg up. They can also force people to rob vaults for them and siphon happiness into cash. Yeah, and that means exactly what it sounds like. You take their happiness and it is now money. Spellcasters can duplicate objects and sell them, so that can lead to easy profit. Witches can make you a five-star celebrity instantly, which can lead to profitable gigs and free shit in your mailbox. I would say it depends on the approach you want to take to make money, but I'm personally being a sorcerer. Sorcerers are the freakiest and the scariest and by far my favorite and you should download this mod. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you like this content.